Yeah, the, I think the horrible image is seeing somebody with tubes plugged down their throat, they, you know, if I'm honest, lose control of their bodily functions, um, a nurse crying before she we'd been told she died. Um, them getting another machine in to try and restart her heart, and then us being told that she was um, actually brain dead, and then that decision having to be made um, to turn the machine off. Yeah, I think you cross over, you go over a bridge, and this goes back to... Um, well, it goes to my sister dying and her getting stuck and my belief in... Well, not belief in ghosts. Um, n n actual knowledge of ghosts. <laughs> I went on tour with my band. <laughs> um, and you forget. You, you don't forget. Um, but the we've got, as human beings, we've got a very unusual way of dealing with grief that we do have a defence mechanism and stuff can come back. For me, uh, Wicca or Wiccan or the Wiccan religion, or Druidism, um, it's like an umbrella term for the old religion. And the old religion was uh, the oldest the oldest religion of this country that worshipped the horned god and the goddess in varying different aspects. On my, my own terms, I'd say that a witch is um, a person like myself who practices magic which you can classify as prayer, and herb law. For instance, give you a very sim simple example, um, a friend of mine had uh, erection problems. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Parsley. It increases it increases the heart heart rate and heart flow, uh, blood, blood circulation. If you look at it in today's terms, it's... M herbal medicine and part of the reason it's been warped is because the god of the witches um the old god the horned god was again hijacked by christianity and turned into a devil figure if you look at most versions of the bible or old versions um there's no image of the devil having horns he was a fallen angel he didn't have horns um catholic church didn't like it which is why I think you get a lot of stuff. Also, in in modern Wicca, and I'm not talking older Wicca, we were we were talking a lot about. Um, you can talk a lot about love um, and the respect of love for a, a man for a woman, a man for a man, or a woman for a woman, which is still something that you don't get in a lot of modern day even you know the church of england which is i guess certainly not islam um hinduism is actually quite open minded on some some levels so so you're looking at for me how wicca works or paganism as i call it um is the respect for people in terms of their beliefs and their sexuality which I think are the two things that define human beings. I, it's not that I don't believe in a Christian faith. Um, I, I think St um, Paul did a lot of damage. I think the four Gospels, especially Luke's Gospel, are actually beautiful books about kindness and love. Jesus was about kindness and love. Yeah. You, the God of the Old Testament... I think he is very angry. Um, if you look at uh, Romans chapter 2, homosexuality is a sin against man and God and punishable by death. Is that a God you want to worship? Um, <laughs> he, but, you know, going, and going to sort of the core of Christian belief, as I said, um, this is my body, this is my blood. And then you get people worshipping... Um, you get people worshipping a figure of Christ being tortured to death in a church and venerating that. And also the worship of the Virgin Mary, which completely denies women a sexuality as far as I'm concerned. What about female sexuality? Forget about male sexuality for a minute, because that comes into female sexuality too. 
but the i the ideal for this the idea that sex is sinful is not something that's in my religion one thing it taught me actually is there's so much love and kindness in the world if somebody's got a kind heart you get on with someone don't ever judge them don't judge them by age or what they do what they earn um, that's the lesson it taught me because life's too short to sort of ignore people 